Well, good Thursday afternoon to you. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. Lord of mercy, I hope everybody is having a show enough good Thursday. But I'm here to tell you, in East Central Mississippi, it is warm. Looks like it wants to rain, but that'd be all right because I could use the rain. But what I wanted to share with you and y'all today is I had a subscriber, The Gardener, actually pose a question or left a comment on one of my videos. And she said, Dan, given your profession, why don't you do a video on homestead security? But in my application, it would be rural homestead home place security. Maybe I can give you a few tips on how you can secure your homestead or your home place. So give me a second. We're going to bump some gums and that's what we finna do. <laughs> All right, you and y'all, here we go. We're gonna kick it off like this. I think the utmost important thing that a home place owner, a homestead owner, or a homesteader should really take into consideration is preventative measures, especially around the homestead or the home place. Preventative measures. If you have uh, things on your homestead that you leave out, and granted, it's your homestead, it's your property. If you want to leave it out, by all rights, you can leave it out. But what I have noticed is, and I have a few friends um, here in East Central Mississippi that had some problems with uh, security on their home places. And they was like, Dan, what do you think about this? So I took a look you know, at a few things and all they were were just my opinions and I just relayed my opinions to them and for some reason it, it seemed to work. But I have uh, quite a few friends and myself, we have expensive uh, lawnmowers. And when I say expensive, I'm talking a 13, 14, 15, sometimes a $20,000 zero term mower that you just, uh, you cut grass. And a lot of times I've seen folks, they just leave it out in one of their pastures whenever they get finished cutting grass. And the next day they just jump on it and keep cutting grass. But that expensive mower is sitting out in a pasture for everybody to see. Uh, criminals, they, they actually look, you know, they'll ride up and down. You know, if there's a, a place that they, they potentially want to target to uh, actually maybe steal some stuff from, they see that. Once they see that, well, what else is on this uh, home place or homestead that I could steal? So it's preventative measures. If you have expensive things, heck, hold on to them, put them up, or park them, put them in a place where nobody can actually see them. And that goes the same thing, there's my mule over there. I leave it parked uh, up underneath my, my lean-to on my shop. I don't never leave the key in it, but my place is situated as to where you cannot see pretty much anything from the road. You actually have to come down my driveway to see anything that I have here at my near my shop. It's an it's a actively aggressive way to limit what folks see on your homestead or your home place. And I guarantee you, uh, criminals, they do their research. They really do. They, uh, from what I understand, some of these criminals use uh, like Google Earth and Google Maps to take aerial views, aerial views of people's home places or homesteads so they can see pretty much the layout of what your homestead looks like so they're trying to get the advantage on you and i know it's true because i've heard i've heard of that being done and it's a possibility so it's imperative that you don't give uh, the would-be criminal any leverage secure your stuff always in the military secure your you know what another thing to point out is on your homestead or your home place I have a lot of rocks and stuff that I have sitting around. I use these for gardening, things of that nature, and I just leave them sitting around. But look what I have right there, a window. The would-be criminal, to show enough, take one of these rocks and bust that window out, and nobody would actually hear it because I live in rural East Central Mississippi. Maybe my neighbor across the street might hear it if she was home. So that's something to take into consideration. Don't leave things laying out that could possibly be used to gain entry into your 
to your homestead or any out structures or buildings that you have on your property. Same thing with ladders. You gotta secure those ladders. What I don't want to do is I don't want to I don't want to help out the criminal. Uh, I want to make it as hard as possible for anybody to try to potentially breach my my homestead or my home place and the security measures that I have in place. Oftentimes you'll hear the phrase or the saying, in order to catch a criminal, you have to think like a criminal. And sometimes that is a good mindset to try to get uh, into your brain. And it's not hard for me because I deal with criminals on a daily basis. It's certainly something for the homestead or the home place owner to think about. Walk around your home place and just, just look. Try to think to yourself, okay, if I wanted to break into this shop right here, what could I use that is here, already on this, uh, this home place, what could I use to actually get into that shop? So that's uh, just something that you need, that I think everybody needs to think about. And it is a sad truth, and it's just, it is what it is. There are folks out there that will actually breach your home place or your homestead and try to steal from you. It's just the truth, but it is what it is. But it's imperative that uh, we as homesteaders, home place owners, half steaders, we need, to, we need to educate ourselves. And we certainly need to not give anybody the opportunity to do something like that on our property. Another thing that I wanted to point out to you is, I think it's imperative that the home place owner, the homesteader, knows exactly what the boundaries are of their homestead or their home place. Where does it start and where does it end? That's a really big thing. Over there, I have about five acres of fenced in pasture that I had for my horses. And this was a mistake on my part, but it's a, a real life mistake. So listen to this one real good. What I did was when I built that pasture over there, I actually left a 10 foot buffer from my pop property line to where I set the first fence post. And the reason why I did that is I wanted to be able to run my zero turn and cut all of the grass all the way around my pasture. But so be it, the folks that live next door to me, when they see me building the pasture, they presumed or they assumed, which they shouldn't have assumed, uh, thought that their property line started where my fence began, but it actually wasn't the case. It was 10 foot further or to the north. So they started, um, well actually started building a fence really. Started, thought about cutting down trees. And I have, I don't know if you can see them, I have a bunch of trees on my wood line over there. So once I actually realized, I was like, okay, why are these folks stacking junk on my property? Old cars, tires, crap like that. And I'm like, hmm, maybe this is something that I need to look into. Well, all I'm gonna say is that was their bad. They should have uh, figured out or knew where their property started and where it ended. Because I knew where mine started and where it ends. So needless to say, they had to move all of that crap off of my property. And I think they were intending on cutting down some trees and I just basically politely told them, you know what, you can cut down them trees if you want to, but be advised, if you cut them down, it's gonna be a thousand dollars a tree when you do cut them down. And it's probably about, I don't know, 25, 30 trees that line my property line on that end of the photo. So they took heed to that and needless to say, the trees are still up and they moved all of that crap off of my property. That's something uh, that's, that's pretty big in my book. Got to know where your property begins and where it ends. Another thing to bring up and for, in order to secure your homestead is the use of these things right here. Private property signs. Here's one. Here's another one if you have some woods or stuff like that maybe that surrounds your homestead or your home place, or maybe your home place is set in the middle of some woods, you may have some pines or some, some, uh, some prime hunting. And if you wanna be sure enough stern 
would be humorous with would-be trespassers, you can use something like this. You know, I gotta throw some humor in there. That's another, that is another uh, inexpensive way to secure your homestead. I also did a video on some, um, some cheap solar lights that I have over here at my home place that I use. And thus far they have worked, they have been working really well and I haven't had any problems, knock on wood, with them. Uh, I'll put an eye card up just in case you might want to check out that video. So lighting is really uh, a good way to secure your homestead or your home place. Another thing that I like to, to bring up is uh, cameras, game cameras. Uh, a lot of folks that I know that have a lot of property, they use game cameras all the time. If they know that they have somebody that's, that's on their property that shouldn't be on their property, they show sure enough use game cameras. Game cameras are a little bit on the expensive side, but sometimes you can find them, you know, real cheap. Another thing, another option uh, to secure your homestead or your home place would be just a camera system. That in itself is uh, on, on the, in my opinion, because I've looked at them, it, it's on the expensive side. I, I don't have, you know, a thousand dollars to fork out on, you know, some infrared cameras to uh, put all around my place. And thankfully, I haven't had any problems with uh, any breaches over here uh, at my home in the sticks. Knock on wood again. If you, you do have the means and you are capable to, you, to, to buy a security system for your, for your home instead of your home place, uh, it's pretty important, I think, in my opinion, that you have uh, a means to store that video, be it an external drive, or whatever it is that you are gonna store that information or that video on, just in case you may need to use it. If you have somebody that uh, came onto your property and, and possibly stole something. But what I'm gonna tell you is, uh, external drives got real cheap. You can get a terabyte drive, uh, external hard drive from the Walmart for like 90 bucks. So that's cheap. It wasn't, what is, it, it isn't like it was back in the day. Um, external hard drives were like expensive, but not no more. So if you go that route, you need to make dang sure that you have something that you can store all of that information on safely, just in case you need to use it. This video is gonna be a little bit longer than what my normal videos are, but given uh, my profession, I, th I thought it was a good idea to actually do a video like this, just to maybe help somebody else that may may be having some problems with people coming on to their homestead or their home place. And it's just a, a few tips that you could possibly use to actually secure your homestead or your home place. Another thing that I, I, I didn't put in there, or I didn't say, which is very effective, and that is gates. See that red gate right there? Gates are, real, are really effective, especially if you have a gate that has no trespassing sign on the gate and they still come onto your property, then yeah, that's, that's gonna be some issues. I'm not gonna rule out uh, a 12 gauge shotgun or, or some type of sidearm. Can't rule that out either. Those two things could uh, definitely be used on a home place. Good thing, you know, good thing to have on a home place or the homestead. That is gonna be the video for today, uh, the gardener. Thank you for, for commenting on one of my videos and bringing that up because it was a really good idea to do a video such as this. I hope everybody is having a show enough good Thursday. It's almost that weekend. If you like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up. They help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home and Six channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over and give me a look because I'm always doing stuff. Really? And with that being said, you know what's coming. Dan referee showing off, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody dull your shine. And I mean nobody. You go on and secure your homestead or your home place. And we will see you and y'all in the next video.